I know it sounds weird to say, and it is weird to say, I mean, COVID was a defining period of life. That terror, that era was just tragic. It was extremely tragic. But there is one decent thing that came out from it. I'm Jay Kevin, KP Powell, Cognate Souls. Please like, subscribe below, and uh, please feel free to comment and interact. I love when that happens. But one of the things that came out from it, from <clears throat> the musician side of things, from the entertainer side of things, is there was this desire to still be able to connect and the need to still be able to make money somehow. And since live shows are such a big component to being able to earn an income when you're a musician or a band, it, it became hard to figure out how you could do that when people couldn't congregate in one place. And so streaming came around and people either either sat in their own house and you got the little windows of people playing different instruments to a song at the same time from where they were, or some people were able to actually get into a big enough space and play at the same time and stream videos. Now, I know some people think that maybe that era is done, but it's not quite finished. It's not done yet. Because one, it's here to stay. It's a wonderful way for people who are nowhere near where you are as a band or where we are as a band to be able to hear us. But even recently, I was watching a football game and I saw a commercial talking about on the biggest stages, blah, blah, live stream after the game. And it was a whole thing about concerts being put on directly after the end of a football game for people to live stream into. So it's still there. It's still possible. And as an independent band, I don't know if you know, but Cognate Souls, we actually do a live stream ourselves. A little 20 minute type of thing. And for a while, we're doing it every Thursday. We're going to take a break because it's the end of the year. But at the top of the year, we're going right back to doing it once a week and getting new fans and reaching out to new people with our music by live streaming once a week but putting that all together takes some effort now i won't lie to you it's easy or easier to do it because these days you can almost do it by just using your phone and a computer and just do it that way that that's one method <clears throat> but we took a bigger method because we wanted to make sure we tried to provide as much quality on top of what we were giving you so this is the rundown of what we got so of course we got the laptop here you have to have that you need that and the laptop runs several different programs at the same time so thankfully it's powerful maybe at some point when i'm big enough or big enough we can buy another one that can just solely run one component while it does something else but right now we run everything through the same laptop and on that we have different software so because we're musicians because we want it to sound good then we're trying our best to make sure it goes through the mixer and kind of comes out on your end sounding great instead of just using the camera that's on the, the camera you swear the microphone on the camera there's a big old acoustic drum set over here four or five pieces with cymbals and then you have a keyboard back here that might have an amp you have a bass that might have an amp you have a guitar that might have an amp and so you want to make sure you can actually hear the vocals coming through quite clearly and so you run everything through a microphone and through a mixer in hopes that uh, we can kind of mix it and send it out now I do use a DAW for that a DAW depending on how you like to say it I'm a studio one type of guy so we run into that and we run the mix the sound and run it on out but then we use this software OBS which helps control what is on the screen and we found that using this instead of our other software this Atom software it doesn't crunch the sound or compress the sound as much so it sounds better mixed when we run through OBS than when we run through this switcher system right here this OBS also allows us to do pop-up and fun things and then we have a couple of monitors. Some monitors are recording the sound and running the uh, DAW. Some monitors are being used to run exactly what's going to be on screen. Some monitors are being used as uh, field viewers or multi-screen viewers so they can see what's on every single camera. And we do have a couple cameras. We have a couple black magics in here, uh, a pocket camera that's kind of the straight on shot. Then that's actually the one I'm using right here. And then we have another micro, which is that one right there that we have. But we also use the Mark Black Magic app uh, with uh, the Black Magic app on an iPhone because 
cameras cost some money, folks. And we've been piecing this together, piecing this together slowly over time. But cameras cost a little bit of change. And to make the space kind of feel a little bit better, I actually use wall mounts. So I have one wall mount and I just kind of screwed it in the wall that allows me to use to try and give the widest angle I can possibly get with the micro in the room we're using. But I also have converted like a TV stand, uh, oh, a TV stand into something to use for the black magic pocket that allows me to kind of work it into a corner and then try to use a widescreen lens to give me the widest screen possible and then we'll throw a tripod up somewhere else if we have a fourth camera just to move things around because we do have a switcher that allows you to have multiple cameras and to switch just to switch the uh, uh the angles and stuff of that nature try to give it kind of a bigger feel and then I think the last piece of technology is one that probably isn't necessarily necessary, but thing I really love, and that is we do use a light. We have a light set up for our shows, so I went ahead and attached the light to the ceiling of the room so that I can control the lights and give us a little bit of pop and light and texture and stuff to go with our videos just to add some movement to the videos. Um, I know we've seen churches or schools or something that uses that video and it's that one single shot and it just sits there wide and that's kind of boring and if that's boring to me i couldn't do that to y'all so we figured out some ways to work around that so that's the quick rundown of how we have things set up i want to know if you're streaming what you have set up what you found that works for you um if you're not streaming and you're just looking at stuff um feel free to also text and ask questions questions about you know what we've used I, I of course didn't talk about everything from mixers to lenses to storage and all that stuff so this gets real technical can get, get real long but I just want to give you a quick rundown maybe it's something fun to know maybe it's something you need to know because you're trying to figure it out on your own I don't know but uh, I'm Jay Kevin KP Power Cognate Souls also is one root one sound that is the sound of love y'all so please 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 like subscribe interact with the channel check out our music uh check us out and i'm gonna check y'all out again and not too long with another video appreciate y'all joining us thanks <laughs>